They clowned for the camera, but lawmakers remain deeply divided over the proposed constitutional amendment to authorize two new casinos in northern New Jersey, particularly over how much revenue it will actually generate for the state. Sponsor Ralph Caputo introduced a concurrent resolution that urges the legislature to offer more specifics. The way this is going to be accomplished, hopefully, is by having enabling legislation that will dictate exactly what the, what the tax rate is going to be. We haven't done that yet. And in terms of transparency, I think it has to be discussed, and hopefully we can get something accomplished before November. Caputo says the tax rate should be significantly higher than the effective 9.25 percent currently paid by Atlantic City casinos and should be tiered depending on how much each developer spends on a new casino. It should be at least 30, 40 percent on the Meadowlands project if that occurs, 15 or somewhere around that for the, uh, for the Jersey City project. If you average the lowest of Caputo's proposed tax rates, you get 22 percent. Apply that to a projected best case $1 billion in casino revenue, and it could generate $220 million in tax money, half of that dedicated to Atlantic City, most of the rest for benefiting New Jersey's elderly and disabled, with 2 percent set aside for New Jersey's racing industry. But critics see nothing concrete. Saying what he'd like to see them to be, as opposed to actually setting a tax rate so that the public knows what they're voting on, will be very important. How do you put a ballot question to amend our Constitution and say, once you pass it, we'll figure out what the tax rate's going to be? Atlantic City's gaming executives view two northern casinos as direct competition that could force more casinos to close in the beleaguered shore town, and a recent poll showed more than half of those surveyed oppose expanding casinos to North Jersey. With billions at stake, dueling ads present vastly different views. Willing to roll the dice on your family's future? Trenton politicians want to risk putting two casinos into North Jersey. When is it our turn, New Jersey, to protect our seniors and those with disabilities? Caputo's resolution aims to clarify legislative intent and revive public interest, but it's still not clear enough for some opponents. They're talking about between $500 million and a billion dollars in revenue coming into the state, and we're going to let the legislature decide this uh, as they move along where they want to direct that money. Let's have some secure outlined parad paradigm set in place so that we know and that the voter knows what the money is going to be used for. And let's do something to protect the taxpayer. Caputo says enabling legislation with specific tax rates could offer voters some reassurance, but he acknowledges that legislative debate over the Transportation Trust Fund and pension funding has sucked all the oxygen out of the room. At the State House, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.